Hi, everybody. I am Matthew Allen, and I am the senior social media producer at The Rachel Ray Show, and we are here with Emmy Award-winning author as well. Uh, how about that? Ross Matthews. Name drop. You know, this is my second book, and I can't believe I even wrote a first one. <laughs> and now I can't, I literally can't believe there's a second one. What was the difference for you between writing in the first one and writing in the second one? Um, I'm, well, the first one was, was called uh, Man Up, and it was about growing up in a farm town. as like a little gay cartoon. And this one is about what happened when I grew up and matured into an older gay cartoon. <laughs> um, <laughs> what... <laughs> What was the impetus for writing this book? Well, because I love pop culture. I've always loved it. I just have been obsessed with it always. And mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, like I, I feel like I want a golden ticket to go behind the velvet rope, you know, and sort of meet these people that I've always dreamt, always dreamt of meeting. And uh, I feel like as the super fan there, I needed to write the stories of what they're like. Right. Sometimes they've been better than I ever could have imagined. And sometimes they broke my heart. Having met so many celebrities that you might look up to or just respect over the years, do you think the adage holds true that like you should never meet your heroes? Uh, I think you should realize that your heroes are human. Okay. Right. That's fair. Yeah. And that was like a real, something I had to learn. Okay. That like, um, uh, sometimes they were, like Gaga, for example, was so unbelievably kind to me, beyond kind to me. And uh, there's other stories in here where people kind of showed me their human side. <laughs> How's that? A good way for that is a very trying, kind of throwing shade, but like not really. Um, we often say that, like you know, sometimes people are just having a bad day that day. And yeah, like you said I, they're human. Not everyone can be like on 100 percent of the time. Yeah, and that's like really when you, what you find out when you read the book is like what it's like behind there is that we all are just kind of humans trying to get through it all. You know, so without telling people that are like getting ready to meet their like favorite celebrity or their favorite drag queen yeah. or whatever to just keep that in mind that like all these people are human. <laughs> yes, um, uh, <laughs> they are human. Uh, it is hard work, but I think for the most part, like I still am a super fan. You know, even after seeing it eight, for eighteen years, I still love this stuff, and that's because these are these people are amazing. Yeah, They're amazing, and these stories of what happened when I met them and, and what they're really like, I think is are there, these stories are amazing as well. Do do the stories in your book um, range from like the beginning of your career in yeah. like, sh entertainment every stage onward? from the early days to to now, and and actually looking back at some of the stuff that happened in the early days and the reflection of what I know now as a forty year old guy, it's very different. You know, and and I. And even when they're mean to me, I, I, I made peace with them for the most part. Looking back at your career when you first started and what you know now, do mm -hmm. you think that you would have changed how you operated when you were first in the entertainment industry? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, there's no way to make it. There was no one hiring me. That was going to be right. my follow-up question is like, what do you have to say? Like, what advice do you have for people that are looking to get into that industry? Well, I think so many times people take like hosting classes. People try to look like that actress or something. Right. They try to... To, to fit in, but I always talk about when you're walking along the beach and you pick up a rock, you don't pick up the one that looks like everyone else. You pick up the one that's a little different, <laughs> yeah, right? Has a very true, a different color to it, a different shape, something different that catches size. your eye. Exactly. So I would say, lean into what makes you unique, what makes you different, because that's what's going to make you stand out. Very good. Very good. Hey, thank you very much for being thank with us. Thank you. Ross Matthews' book is out currently, and RuPaul's Drag Race season twelve premieres uh, February twenty eighth, February twenty eighth. On VH one. Stay tuned. <laughs>